Hey everybody, I hope you're having an awesome day. I found this Millennium Falcon at my local Goodwill for 99 cents. It's pretty sweet. Now, for me, it's a little too clean. It's just the gray plastic. I wanna show you how to very quickly weather this up with probably something that you already have at your house. If not, you could go pick it up for pretty cheap at any big box store. So let's do this thing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Okay, so what I wanna do is just weather this up so it looks cooler. I don't really wanna do anything too complicated or crazy. And there's just a really simple way to do this. We're gonna put a wash on it. Now, a lot of times I'll use this Citadel Shade Known Oil, and uh, it works really nice for doing panel, um, panel line washes. Tamiya makes a panel line wash. I've seen people make homemade acrylic and oil washes. Um, I've even seen guys do like pencil with um, lead. And so you can do all kinds of really cool stuff, but we're just gonna do a simple, quick wash on this. But instead of using this stuff, which can be a little pricey, you know, it's a small bottle and it could be anywhere from seven to eight bucks, um, we're gonna use shoe polish. This is the liquid shoe polish that you normally just it has the sponge on the tip and you kind of squish it and rub it all over your shoe. Um, I've seen a couple of modelers use this kind of stuff. I first saw this with Cosplay Chris. He does some really fun uh, toy rebuilds, so check him out if you don't know him. But to do this project, we're just going to need this. Pretty cheap, pretty simple. You want a little thing of water. You will want a brush. I'm going to use a half inch brush. That should be plenty big for what I need. You want like a plate or something to uh, put this liquid on. You'll want an old Scotch-Brite scrub sponge. This will help us at the end there. And some paper towels. So yeah, let's do this. Should be pretty easy. I'm just squeezing out the shoe polish on a paper plate. We'll get some water, thin it down just a little bit. And I'm just gonna start applying this thing all over the place. Get in every little nook and cranny. Get all those little panel lines. In fact, when I flip it over to the side in a second, you'll see the detail of all of those little parts it looks so cool. Then I'm gonna take a paper towel once this is done and I'm gonna wipe it down. And right away, you're gonna see the effect that I'm going for to make this look like a weathered ship. It looks, I think it looks pretty great. So that literally was just maybe a minute or two of just brushing that on. And as of right now, I've just taken the paper towel because it was still pretty wet and I could take off most of that. And I wanted to just give you a side by side. I only did the one half so you could still see. So look at just some of these little panel lines compared to this, like right away, that dark falls right in the panel line. Now I could take a smaller brush and very carefully drop in the entire thing, but I actually don't mind some of this buildup on the body itself. I think it looks pretty cool. The one thing that we can do is I'm going to, what I'm doing right now is just wetting my sponge. I'll kind of rinse that out. And the scotch bright side will allow you to, when it's wet, kind of scrub off even more. So you can see right there, I just took off some of that surface grime but this the scotch bright does not go down into the groove so it actually will just remove off of the surface area and you can see right where the brush hit or not the brush but the sponge you see that little line right there and over so you can also come in this way and just kind of grunge things up a little bit like that or clean things however you want um, this, there, this is kind of fun with the scotch bright. you can actually pull it. And so I can pull, maybe like there's some grime that's, as the ship's flying through the air, it is, you know, causing some streaks. So that's kind of cool. I might do that on the back here, because I think <clears throat> in the movie, you would see some kind of grime coming off of these guys so i might even just add a little bit of darkening in here maybe there's areas where i scrubbed out or maybe i wiped it too soon and lost some of my panel um, wash no big deal i'll just come in here 
add a little bit more. And what I'll probably do is go ahead and let this dry. So then when I scrub it out, for sure that inside is dry and it the napkin could very well just be pulling out the uh, wash that I had in there. So yeah, so this is uh, pretty fun. I'm going to go ahead and continue doing the whole thing. And then I'll show you a couple of other toys and action figures I've done the same thing with. And then we'll do a little uh, glory shot of this. Okay, really quick, I just wanted to show you. This is after I had flooded the whole thing, and then I scrubbed this side down, so I just wanted to give you a side-by-side -side comparison. You can still see this has got a lot of the shoe polish on there. It needs to be cleaned off, but once you take this sponge and pull directionally, um, even doing that, I can add grunge back on if I want to. Uh, it gives it a really nice look, but also, by taking the paper towel and wiping directionally, kind of in the direction that the ship would be flying, you can remove some of that grime and it really leaves some nice uh, kind of panel lining on your toy or model or action figure, whatever you'd be working on. So yeah, I just wanted to give you kind of a side-by-side -side comparison of those two. I think it looks pretty great. Okay, so I'll show you some of the glory shots of the Millennium Falcon here in just a minute, but I did want to show you some of the other little toys, like I said. This is an at, -AT. It was just a little gray toy. Nothing other than this little red painted there on the tip. But you can see just the wash really adds some nice depth to this even little tiny simple toy. Um, I got a little Halo figure. This is before, I have two of them, and then this is one that I just did a wash on. This one I also did a little bit of silver paint and just hit the edges to give it a little bit of battle damage, but just the wash gives it some really nice depth. Alright, and then, oh this is kind of cool. This is a little BB-8 toy that I found at Goodwill. I don't have any other remotes or anything for it, it's just, it just sits on my shelf, but it was like super bright white and orange. This one I used brown shoe polish, rubbed it all over, and you can see it just went into the cracks super nice, gave it some really nice weathering, able to even get some kind of grime around the edges and stuff. So this turned out really cool. And then <laughs> this is one of my first projects that I ever used the shoe polish on, my Stormtrooper Thug Life. I actually made these uh, tattoos with water transfer inkjet paper that I bought online. One of the tricks is you have to print it out, then you have to spray it with clear coat three or four times, then you're able to cut it and they slide pretty easy. So, but yeah, you can see kind of just the grime and it fills in some of the cracks and makes it kind of look cool. So as always, it is a great day to be a toy nerd. Get out there and make something really cool. Go try this.